I was not present when they were arrested. The police have always a right to arrest everybody and anybody except the president. But the police must arrest within the law, take that person to court. If they have evidence, they take it to court. As because we are law-abiding citizens, we are telling the police, take our clients to court if you have an allegation against them. If you don't have an allegation against them, then that will be violation of fundamental human rights of the members of parliament and the two other citizens who have been arrested. It is one of the issues that we'll be raising in court where it is a total abuse of the police powers, where the offense was committed in Nairobi allegedly, but they have been brought here. They will be taken, I don't know which court they will be taken, I've been mean, part of and parcel of these matters. They might not even be taken to Kiambu court, they might be taken to other courts all over. But that is a proper abuse of the criminal justice system, and we hope that this type of the staple type of arresting of, of members of parliament, people of honor should stop and stop forthwith. These are not petty thieves, these are not petty criminals to be hounded from Nairobi to Kiambu, from Kiambu, nobody told to central from all over. So that's what I'm saying. We expect, and that's why you've seen quite a big team of members of parliament condoning this place because they might be taken 10, 15 more police stations before tomorrow morning. And they might be taken to courts even in Garissa or Wajir or anywhere. But that is a proper abuse of the criminal justice system. And as lawyers, we will defend that. And we'll also be putting the courts, the courts in a lot that let the judiciary not be used to be abused so that people who are alleged to have been arrested at, at Wabera Street in Nairobi will be brought to Kiambu Court.